welcome out to another episode of It's All Been Done Radio Hour. This week we have a new episode of Universe Journey for you, kicking off a new season. We hope you enjoy it. Before we begin, we want to thank Circle 270 Media, which this podcast is a part of. We want to thank our parent network, It's All Been Done Presents, found at iabdpresents.com. Please check it out for additional podcasts and all kinds of great content. We also want to encourage you to support us at patreon.com slash IABD. We've been asking for a while, but we haven't met our goals yet. So we're asking, please, if everybody that regularly downloads this podcast donated a dollar, we'd be at that level already and we'd shut up about it for a while. So please, please, please donate at patreon.com slash IABD. Now enjoy this episode of Universe Journey. This is Universe Journey. It's 2428. The ASS Thrifty has been destroyed and its crew scattered given various reassignments. There's the former commander, Richard L. Kake, demoted and assigned to Eastwood Station, a job no one else wants. Well, yeah, but I am in charge. Next, there's Kake's XO, Commander Takalati. Thank you. I'd just like to say I'm so honored and to finally... And Lieutenant Anders, the communications officer of both the Thrifty and Eastwood Station. I'm included in the opening? Excellent! Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow, the science officer, just got back from a mission into the Echo Dimension, an evil, twisted version of our own world. I am not evil. Right, but your people are. Meow Meow's homeworld is the one Eastwood Station orbits around. Their liaison to the station is Captain Pirtle. I am not evil. Lies. Also on the mission with Meow Meow was Lieutenant Commander Luna. I'm glad to be home. And to New was the pilot of the Thrifty and has been transferred to Eastwood to work with the newly set up Echo Dimension Department on the station. I brought my laser pistol, Jeffrey, and my academy roommate, Bernie, with me. You like me more than laser pistol, right? Do not make me choose. (laughs) And last but not least, Comb Foley. The former engineer has resigned from the ASS after the death of his wife, which he blames Kake for, and is following his own path. Oi, I'll be alright. Theme song. Space, we are in you. We travel far beyond the stars. Previously on Universe Journey, Kake allowed Captain Yees, an enemy come on captain, to blow up the Thrifty to maintain Yees' cover as a mole for the ASS. Afraid of exposing Yees, Kake refused to reveal to the Admiralty why he did such a thing, resulting in his demotion and a less than desirable assignment. More recently, Kake discovered a stable wormhole near the station that leads to the Echo Dimension, allowing Meow Meow, Luna, and Admiral Jameson to return home and making Eastwood Station much more important. Tonight's episode, Shuffling the Deck. We begin in a conference room on Eastwood Station. So it's decided then. Admiral Jenko, with all due respect. <laughs> uh, since when have you ever shown respect, Kake? Do we even uh, know each other, Admiral Landau? I know enough of your reputation. That is hardly a fair assessment. Stay out of this, Milkweed. I don't need your help. Hey, he was just defending you. I know I don't know you, Lieutenant Commander Luna. You're really gonna jump in on me like that? If you attack Meow Meow, I am. Thank you, Luna, but I don't need... I don't get sidetracked. Go ahead, Admiral Janko. Relieve him of command. 
I have not decided if Commander Kake will remain in charge here or not. You haven't? Then why did she bring me out here? I did not ask you to come, Captain the Shat. Admiral Landau made an assumption he shouldn't have. I just thought Thinking that- is fine. Going over a superior's head is not. Ha ha! Watch huh? it, Kake. I don't think it would be wise for you to feel like you have the upper hand in anything here. Ha ha! If I may interrupt. You may not, Captain Purtle. This is an ASS conversation, and you are not a part of the ASS. Ha ha ha! (laughs) Sorry, I just wanted to try it. It won't happen again. (laughs) Yes, it is true that I am not part of the ASS. However, you are talking about who will command Eastwood Station, which my people gave to you. Gave. If. It's ours now. No, take seas. Back seas. <laughs> if you want to maintain strong diplomatic relation with the Sarapish people, I suggest you allow us to weigh in. We We can't can't trust trust a word they they say! say. Jinx, buy me a Coke. No, thank you. You're lame. I am not. If if I may... Go ahead, Captain Purtle. Thank you, Admiral Jinko. Our planetary leader, Most High, has named Commander Kake a prophet in our religion. We are planning a holiday in his honor. Her Most High would not be pleased if Kake was removed from this Post. Purple, thought you didn't like me. You gave him a nickname too? I personally do not care for you, but I represent her most high in these matters, not my own feelings. Oh, say it again, buddy. Tell everyone how much your president likes me. Her most high is not a president. I think we're getting off track here. As the captain of the best ship in the fleet, the ASS Dream, It is my duty to be wherever the fleet needs me most. And I think right here is the hot spot right now. You can say that again. (laughs) Lieutenant Commander Luna, what do you think about all this? Uh, Me? Well, what can I say? I don't know Commander Kake very well. Yes, but you have been into the Echo Dimension. How present is the threat there? I don't think they're going to attack tomorrow, if that's what you mean. They aren't even aware of the wormhole. I would not underestimate Janice Jameson. She has taken her double's place and is in charge over there. She hates us. And if she can figure out how to get back here, we'll likely try to exact her revenge. Uh, Do you have proof of this, Meow Meow? No, it is merely a guess. And his guesses are usually spot on. Uh, But it's just a guess. His guesses are better than most people's certainties. Whose bright idea was it to let that traitor Janus out anyway? I gave the order at Admiral Jameson's request. Oh. Okay. But well, it was you, Admiral Jenko. I'm sure you had your reasons. Indeed I did, the shat. Though I admit, it may have been a mistake. Uh, yeah, uh, Jameis has just ran off before we could even talk to him. He's just trying to do his duty, Admiral Landau. <laughs> That's no excuse for disobeying an order. Actually, Admiral James, it had not yet received any new orders. I, he should have waited until he did. Hey. Admiral Jameson is one of the finest officers I've ever served under. Enough. Jameson is not the issue here. The issue is how the chain of command will break down in this sector of space moving forward. Well, this is my assigned command, so I am in charge. I outrank you. I'm the captain of the best ship in the fleet! Uh, Her most high. I think I'm going to need some help on this one. She should almost be here by now. Oh, Admiral. Meanwhile, on the command deck of Eastwood Station... Whoa! This is the bridge of a space station? Neat! Hi, Ensign New, Ensign Bernard. What can I do for you? Hello, Commander Tokolati. Bernie wanted to see what things were like up here. Well, she's welcome to look around. Ask Anders any questions you have. Oh, thanks! Uh, Come take a look at this, Ensign. Oh, don't mind if I do. So... That's why Ensign Bernard is here, but what about you, New? I would like to put in a request to join the crew of Eastwood Station. I don't understand. 
Weren't you transferred here to work on the Echo Dimension project? Yes, but I only took the assignment with that office to rescue Meow Meow and Jameson. I was pleased with the move to this station, but would prefer to work directly with you and Commander Kake. Well, I'm sure if you put in a request with the ASS, they'd consider the transfer. What are you interested in doing? I have long considered this and am still not 100% certain. But given my familiarity with Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow, and since he is the only department head on this station that I personally know, I was thinking of working in the sciences. New, Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow isn't a department head. Oh. Perhaps I spoke too soon. I had assumed that your science officer having departed with Admiral Jameson, Meow Meow would be given the job. I admit, I'd love that, but it's up to Commander Kake, and you know those two don't really get along. While I acknowledge there is tension between them, Commander Kake has demonstrated extraordinary loyalty to former crew members of the Thrifty. <laughs> to some former crew members, maybe. Why, what happened? Anders. Sorry, sir. Look, I'm going to fight for Meow Meow, but there's no guarantee. If Meow Meow doesn't get the job, it could be anyone. Oh, I had not considered that. So why don't you think about what you want to do, New? I'm sure you'd be an asset to any department, but don't jump in until you've had the chance to really think about it. That is wise. Perhaps I could- Sir! Something's coming through the wormhole! Shields up, Nogamora. Arm weapons, Anders, call the ship. Aye, sir. They're responding. Put them on the big screen thingy. Aye. Hello? Hello? Where am I? I'm Commander Takalati, and this is Eastwood Station. Identify yourself. I'm Jay. What happened? Why am I reading life signs on Ceratidia? Lower your shields and prepare to be towed aboard. Oh, of course. No problem. Anders, and call. Nogamora, you're with me. May I come too? Yes, New. I think it'll be good to have a representative of the the Echo Dimension office. Let's go. Back in the conference room. Something you need to handle, Commander Kake. What? Uh, no, it looks like it's just one guy in a little shuttle. Tokolati will take care of it. Good. As I was saying... Hello. Thank you for joining us, Ambassador Nixon. We have quite a conundrum, and we're hoping you could help us work it out. It would be my pleasure, Admiral Jenko. (laughs) Are you fully briefed on the situation? I am. Do you have any ideas on how we can resolve it? Uh, A few. Then proceed. Thank you. Admiral, first we must maintain good relations with the Syrup Tish. It is their wish that Commander Kake remain in charge. Is that correct, Captain Pirtle? Mm, yes, Ambassador. Booyah, shooka shooka. <laughs> it's my right to request command here. What with it being all important now? Ah, uh, but you heard her, the Shat. I'm in charge. The Shat. Am I right in assuming that you do not want to be posted on Eastwood Station directly? Of course not. I'm a starship captain. I'd never give that up. Or do something stupid and get demoted. Hey! Then, what is the problem? Can we not just assign the ASS Dream to patrol this, uh, this, uh, this sector of space, leaving both Commander Kake and Captain the Shat in their respective positions? Oh, yeah, that'll work. Yep, (laughs) fine with me, but but when we come into conflict, who's going to be in charge? The Shat is a captain. He outranks you. Blam! Blam! Blam-o! (laughs) Damn, Admiral Ambassador, with 
All due respect, I found the wormhole. I have command of the station and the faith of the species on the planet below. Shouldn't this be my job? No. I'm a captain, and you're not. Anymore. That was harsh. I agree. Bashat, I already said you're in charge. No need to rub it in. Actually, Admiral, if I were to command the Echo Dimension Project from Eastwood Station, I would outrank both Kake and the Shat. True. Do you intend to move out here, Admiral Landau? Uh, well, I assume Landau! <laughs> Do you not have children in high school? Yes, I, I do. Do you intend to uproot your family to move them out to a potential front line of a combat zone? Well, I, I'd rather not, but since Jameson took off, I kind of thought I'd have to. Is that the case, Admiral Janko? Jerry, it's up to you. I trust you to oversee the project from Earth or from Eastwood Station. Oh, um, then I want to stay on Earth. Uh, but who can we put in charge of the branch office out here? We can't just pick some junior officer. Commander Luna? Oh, uh, sorry, Admiral Janko. I'm still a lieutenant commander. I read your files on the mission, and Jameson recommended you for a promotion. You as well, Meow Meow. I'm inclined to grant those rank changes. Thank you. Would, uh, would, uh, would a commander be a high enough rank to run the branch offices, Admiral Landau? I, I guess so. Do you want the job, Commander Luna? Definitely. It would be an honor. What about Moverlook? What about me? Well, if you're promoting him, why isn't he in charge of the office? I assumed you would want him as your science officer, considering you have an opening. No, 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 Pope of no, no, absolutely no way. I'm good. You must be kidding me. Even you could not be so cruel. What did I do? After all that I've been through, you're not going to let me come home to my thrifty family. Only like 2% of the Thrifty's crew is here, Meow Meow. Yes, but a significant portion of the senior staff is present. Meow Meow, think about it. Do you really want to serve under me again? Yes. What? <laughs> well, I don't want you. Why not? Let's save this for another time. I would like to discuss it now. Mm. Commander Kake, what is your issue with... Commander Meow Meow. You mean besides the fact that he... You know what? It's not like that anymore. I I just don't like him. Hmm. That is not what you said previously. Oh, what did he say? Hey, well, he said... No, something in confidence that you are probably taking out of context, Puffer Fish. I do not believe so. The science position is open. I am highly qualified. Just let me have it. Did I stutter? I said no. You can work with me, Meow Meow. No offense, Commander Luna, but I would rather not. What did I do? It is not you that is the problem. It is dealing with the Echo Dimension. I have no wish to do so. If you don't want to deal with the Echo Dimension, why would you want to be on the station at all? I already said, my family is here. Oh, uh, Luna. If you're taking over the Echo Dimension stuff, you may want to get down to the shuttle bay. We have a visitor from the other side. Oh, may I be excused, Admiral? Go ahead, Commander Luna. <laughs> Commander Meow Meow, I am sorry. If Kake does not want you under his command, he doesn't have to accept you. But, Commander Kake, I strongly urge you to reconsider. All right. I've reconsidered, still no. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? What did you ever... Oh! Oh, so, so many things! Please, I am begging you to not send me away. Commander Kake, isn't there any way that you could see fit 
to allow Meow Meow to serve on the station. I, I, you know what? Fine. I have one position and only one position that I would let him take. Yes, anything. What is it? You can replace Captain Pirtle here as my liaison. Mm, what? No. No, I do not like that idea. I do not get along with my people. She does not serve her most high. Meow Meow is a disgrace to our species. Well, that's my condition. I'll take Meow Meow only if he's my liaison. If I have to be miserable, so does he. Uh. Well, I think that we have an agreement. This will have to be cleared with her most high. I don't think that will be a problem. Meow Meow, do you accept this position? I... Uh, damn it. <laughs> Down in the shuttle bay. All right, step out slowly. Hey, it's cool. I'm an on. Scanning. I detect no weapons on him. All right, lower your laser pistol, Nagamura. Thanks. And would you mind telling me what happened? I don't recognize your uniforms. Where am I, and who are you? One question at a time. Like, first, what are you doing here, Jay? If that is your real name. I implied that with the way I said his name new. Oh, I apologize, Commander Tokolati. Yes, my name is Jay. That's what my family calls me anyway. I was just passing through space, and then there was some lights, and, and now I'm here. You've crossed into another dimension. Wow. Really? Oh, that's amazing. Yes. What do you do for a living, Jay? I'm, I'm a researcher. I was investigating the effects on the planet, the space around the ruined planet of Ceratidia. I, I wonder if there's the, a, a rip in the dimension is connected. That is unlikely. Hmm. Well, I wonder then. Hi, sorry I'm late. Lieutenant Commander Luna. Commander Luna now, Commander Tokolati. Admiral Janko appointed me head of the Echo Dimension office on Eastwood Station. Oh, congratulations. Then I guess you can question him. Sure. What did I miss? He says his name is Jay, and he is a researcher who was examining Seraptidia and the space around it. Unless he is lying. That's all true, I swear! Do you work for the OSS? Definitely not. Okay, well, let's go back to my office. Do I have an office? Not yet. We can assign you a temporary one for the time being. Go see Miranerva. We'll keep him company in the meantime. Great. Thanks, Commander. So, you know about my dimension? Just a little. Well, I'll be happy to correct that. Commander Luna will do your debrief. Right, right. Whatever you want. Are you hungry? No, I am quite satisfied at present. I meant Jay. Oh. I apologize. Um, yeah. Yeah, I could eat. Why don't we get a bite while we wait for Luna? More comfortable than just standing around. Right on. Lead the way. Captain's Diary. I would Pardon me, Commander Kake, but you are not a captain anymore. Well, duh, Minterpuss, let me record my log. Yeah, but you started your log captain's diary. Tokolati, so what? Uh, so, as Meow Meow pointed out, you aren't a captain. But I can still call it a captain's diary. You can, if you would like to be inaccurate. <laughs> well, who cares if I'm inaccurate? The ASS. Your crew. Admiral Janko. Historians pouring over the public record. <laughs> Fooey. Should have recorded this in my apartment. Who is Jay? <laughs> Will Meow Meow take a job he'll hate to be near the people he loves? What kind of struggles for command will occur with so many officers moving into this part of space? And where was Foley during this episode? Find out all that and more next time on Universe Journey. It's all been done. Radio Hour number 247. Universe Journey number 55, Shuffling the Deck, was written by Jerome Wetzel and directed by Dallas Ray. This was part of our 50th live show. It starred Nick Argenbrett as Kake, Katie Boisenault as Tokolati, Shane Stefanchik as Meow Meow, Seamus Talti as Foley, 
Kristen Green as New, Jessica Gibson as Jenko, Nathan Haley as Pirtle, Stephen Woosley as The Shat, Sam Clements as Landau, Samantha Stark as Bernie and Nixon, Ryan Yoey as Anders, and Chase McCants as Jay. It was narrated by Chris Allen with Foley artist Seamus Talty. Our technical director is Shane Stefanchik. Our music director is Kristen Green. The theme song was composed by Nathan Haley with lyrics by Jerome Wetzel. Our script editor is Keith Jackson, and our podcast editor is Chris Allen. Please check out our website, it's all been done radiohour.com, and check out the It's All Been Done Radio Hour wiki, which is completely filled out for Morning Show, Daniel Kravitz Chosen One, and Travels with Tim, with more content being added all the time. Have a great week. But we put a pin, we put a pin, and that was what... Oh. We'll put a pin in that as we join Cockaine and Science Officer. But we'll put a pin in that as we join Cockaine and Science Officer Ensign Tick, Tick on a shuttle. Tick? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Tick. Cockaine, is that really you? Admiral Jameson, your voice. I'm, <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm late because I'm getting gas, apparently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We've crossed into the echo dimension, Jameson, and that's where the wormhole took We skipped us. some lines. Did we? Oh, yes. here where? <laughs> Words are fun. We're in the same system we always... Oh. <laughs> here we go. It's All Been Done presents... Who's got the time?